Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here with my package. Just trying to make sure that you will see the shot properly, because I'm using my tripod, which is awesome. No shaky unboxing, which I know some people don't like. To be honest, the more people complain about it, the more I'll do it anyways. So don't complain about shaky cameras, because I'll just do it anyways. But uh, I was just trying to make sure that uh, you will be able to see everything. And if you see me, I really don't care, but you'll probably won't be able to see my face. So this is my package. This is all from Pee Wee's Piggy Palace, which I'll have a link to, and I'll put her Facebook as well. Um, she's currently not really taking any custom orders, though, for people who might get excited. Sorry, she's going to be moving soon, so don't expect somebody to do custom orders when they're moving. You know, that's a big thing. But she always has her store stocked, which is awesome. You can just go and be like, boo, I want that, and you can just get that. So that's pretty sweet. I do love her store for that, because she always has a lot of stuff. And um, some of these prints you'll see, you would have seen on her Facebook if you're one of her fans. Um... I'm not going to say more, but uh, you'll see. So here we go. Can you see me? I have a flash on too, so um, which is weird because usually the last few times I've been using my tripod, I haven't had the flash on. So we were uh, using it for Charlie. So here we go. The whole freaking cage set. It's kind of expensive. Whole cage set. Plus, I ended up adding stuff. So you'll see. Everything's in bags. So she likes to wrap things nicely. Yeah, just making sure everything's good to go. So, we will start with this one. Voila! Now you can see, if you're a fan of her, you would have saw this place. And butterflies and caterpillar. Caterpillar she already had, but I think she had to order more for my order. And this is based, this place is basically all me. I saw this on a website she orders fleece from and said that I wanted my liners in this, the butterfly. So. Anybody else likes this butterfly fleece? She got it because I asked her. It's really gorgeous. Everyone seems to like it. These are the sneaky sets. Oh, lower. These are the sneaky sets. There's an open. Nice big opening. And open end, so you can hold it up, which I like to, I actually like to keep it folded up, you don't have to, but there is one, and the other, I had to get one in each place, just because it's gorgeous, well, I like that this caterpillar print is, is, you can basically pair it with any color, obviously I picked pink, because I wanted to make sure it uh, stayed girly, but, uh, you know, you can pretty much do it any color. There's all of the sneaky snacks. Two of the sneaky snacks. They're snacks. They're sacks. Sneaky sacks. Go over there. What else is in here? Okay, this is a shack. This is the shack. I had to get it in the butterfly print, not the um, caterpillar, just because this print is so gorgeous. And I always get an extra pad, so there's the shack. I'm just going to do this. Put it all together for now. Everything's going to have to be washed a couple of times, unfortunately. So you won't see a cage tour for like a week. I just cleaned their cage yesterday, so yeah, it gives me a, a while to uh, wash it in and get everything ready. Oh, yeah. oh, I think this is my extra. Oh, well, along with this, this is not an extra. This goes with the set. Well, I got the Heidi Hut in this caterpillar one. Like always, second bed. So, the reason why I picked the caterpillar is I'd already had picked the teal butterflies as the main fleece, and I was like, I can't have everything teal butterflies. I'm like, I need to pick something that coordinates. And I couldn't think of anything that would coordinate. 
when it finally dawned on me, do the caterpillars because it'd be like a bug theme or an insect theme. So I decided on the caterpillars and then I just fold it and make sure, you know, make the opposite color pink to keep it girly. You know, Hannah, when she first got this print, she was making everything green on the green as the opposite color. So it's all pink for me. Try not to lose these things because cats love to play them. See the collection that's going on in the back? Yeah, you can. So here are my extra. Oh, and the big curtains. Oh, they're just all curtains. Never mind. Got to have curtains. So probably should have done one of the curtains in the teal butterflies. But I didn't think of that at the time. set. Um, what happened was we watched my uh, Christmas surprise order from uh, Carrie. She, uh, my present from Carrie, that's what I'm trying to spit out. She had got me the shoot in this print and the hay bags, the Olaf hay bags, and I already have the shack in this print. So I was only missing the curtains and then I have everything for that Pee Wee had made in this fleece. So I told her just to add Two of these curtains, just so I have them. And now I have everything that she made in this place because she only made um, the curtains, the shack, shoots, and the hay bags. And I think she has some left, but not many. This fleece, she's out. She's completely out of this fleece. Ooh, I got Elsa. Yay. But yeah, she's completely out of this fleece, so if you want frozen stuff, you're going to have to check her out because she, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. I got two of these. I like how this one's her head's cut off. <laughs> so I just told her to throw these in. And maybe eventually I'll have like a little frozen thing. So what are these? <coughs> People know that when I do my cages, I always have one of these underneath my corner curtains. So I got four of these. What happens is within a two to three days, I switch them out, make sure the cage is clean and they stay dry. So I got four of these, and I can always use the pink side. This is the bubblegum pink. If you're interested in what this is actually called, four of those. This is the shoot. So I pretty much got one of everything that she makes. I got one Heidi Hut, one Shack, one Shoot, Sneaky Snack, Sneaky Sack. I keep calling them snacks. Sneaky Sacks. Sacks. I suppose you can take a snack in there. There's the shoot. And, like I said, two pads. Uh, two pads. Switch everything within the week. Then these two pads are just I'm going to be using for drip heads in the cage. I always have pads underneath my water bottles. So that's why these are the butterfly print pink. And this is because a long time ago, when I, my first shoot from her is from Carrie. Carrie sent me uh, a daisy shoot, and I, it only had one pad, so I asked her to make me another one. So I have two. So now I've got two pads of the daisies for that shoot. And then you guys talked about the frozen shoot that um, I just got also given Mary for Christmas. Only had one pad, and she's completely out of that fleece. I'm not lying. See, as you can tell, my extra pad is just white. 
I just told her to make it whatever color. She chose white. It's just a pad. I don't really care. I know people are going to be like, oh, you're going to see everything on it. Yeah, but it's just a pad. And the way I position my shoots in my cage, you don't see in the shoot. You see the side of the shoot. But that's my extra pad for that. Those are my extras. My extras are only the two frozen um, curtains and these two things. These are my laminate. Oh, and and my hay bags. Here is the line, which is so beautiful. So if this print looks familiar to you, it's basically the same print as the purple butterflies that she had, or I think she still has it. Um, but instead of purple and like gray butterflies, it's teal and has more cute pink butterflies. So I like this one better. I think in the background. So this is my 2x3, which yes is bigger than a 2x3 because they do shrink. My first two liners from Pee Pop Shop, Jasmine and the Winnie the Pooh ones have shrunk. The 2x5 hardly fits the cage. I'm missing, missing room in the back. You just can't see it. So I made sure these are going to be super long, so once they shrink up, they'll still be long. And they're a little bit wider, because I like to uh, roll up a little bit. So these will be gorgeous. Probably never use the pink side. <clears throat> Why would I? Oh, bags. So this one, I'm going to walk the camera. This will be the 2 by 5 Five, same thing. Super long. Probably don't want to uh, have anything longer than a 2 by 5 I think 2 by 6 would be hard to wash. Usually with really big cages, you can either do custom sizes or do like two smaller sizes and just put them together. I think that's what I would do if I had anything bigger than what I already have. If this works. And now you get to check out the pick out pouches, pops, as she calls them. These are super cute, I'm so excited. So I saw this print because she made she has made a couple for her store. And I loved it. So I told her to add two of those because it will match the whole insect theme thing going on here. So it is the adorable bee pops. Yeah, but let's bring nice and close. Look how cute bumblebees. Yeah, she needs to make a whole bunch for her store because I can see people liking this. Especially since spring is coming. Yeah, nice and big. These are cotton, of course, because you don't want hay and fleece together. Um, fleece doesn't stick to cotton as badly. They do shrink a little bit, but not too badly. Because, well, I wash my stuff in hot hot water, so, yeah. If you don't do that, then maybe they don't shrink as much. So yes, I have two of those, because I always have two in the cage at the, all times. So that is about it. Was this fun, having the tripod? No shakiness. Also got through it a lot faster, because you didn't have to uh, bear with me trying to open stuff one-handed. I will take the camera now, though, if I can, without freaking out. So yes, there's all my stuff, my pile of stuff. So, yeah, just picked that up today. And piggies are over here. See, there's our messy cage. See, there's the caterpillar print. I have this one sack already. 
but it's got the green in the background, not the cute pink. So, uh, so you can definitely use it with boys or girls, depending on uh, what colors behind it. And there's their cage. They went through a lot of hay. They were filled yesterday. Daisy needs a haircut. She does too, but you can really tell with Daisy. I don't know why they keep. I don't know how they're laying on this cup, but every time I come to clean the cage, they've got this pushed down. So somebody's laying like this, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna go make them a salad, and uh, that's about it. Like I said, if you're interested in buying anything from PB's Piggy Palace, I will have her links in the description. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.